Bendiciones, it's Shakira Lachey. I'm about to introduce you to one of my very best friends, Josephine Webb Danielson. Um, I always go to her when I need modeling or some kind of industry advice. And so I decided to share her with you all. She is a model, an actress, a designer, a producer, and a writer. You guys, you're definitely in for a treat. Welcome, Josephine. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I know you got a lot going on, so I just want to hop <laughs> right in, and I want the juicy stuff. I saw, because you know I'm on your Instagram and your social media, your TikTok. You were filming, Oh, you better be. Yeah. <laughs> You're one of my best you friends. Filming, uh, pilot or something in California? Yes, yes. Uh, thanks for noticing, because, uh, you know, the strike, We could. I think we could touch on it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so because gently. of this lovely strike, gently, um, it's been rough with the whole uh, acting industry. So I was really honored to get this role that um, a good friend of Daniel and I, um, and she's in Santa Barbara, which is where our, our sweet Trinity is. So okay. it was super cool to book this job that I get to be flown out to where my princess is. <laughs> and so I went out a little earlier because it was only one day of shooting, the full day, but it felt okay. so good to be on set, my God. So it was just like a perfect combination of getting a visit with my sweet girl Aww. and then working on set, which I've been like dying for. <laughs> yes. Right? So, and it was fun. It was a character I felt I was able to connect to, but the cool part is the um, writer director she had the cast do um, a class, like a workshop, and we did it Zoom. And okay. so it was really cool because it helped us all connect because I don't, I didn't know these people, they were in California, right? So, um, you know, when you do these acting workshops, you just, you get really vulnerable, right? So the lady to. had us, um, yeah. And and it, it was, a, it's been a long time since I've done something like that. So it was really fun. I enjoyed it. We were animals, which is kind of weird, right? <laughs> was <laughs> it like so, improv? Like improv? Yeah, it? it was all improv. Okay. And so, yeah, it got really interesting. So it was just fun. It's so therapeutic, right? Acting. It, um, so it really, it really, really, when you can, when you get a chance to do yeah. it. <laughs> It really oh, yeah, is and get emotional. Yeah, you, I mean, you get to you get to tap into so many different emotions, emotions. Yeah. and I guess yeah. that's like the the gift of acting is being able to go from Amen. you know sad to yeah. happy. And a lot yeah. of times when we watch movies, we think that it gets filmed um, in the sequence, oh, and it, it doesn't. Sometimes you start filming so the hard. end. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, you get to the, you know, the beginning somehow, but um, yeah. that's amazing. Did Trinity, was Trinity on set with you? She wasn't on set for my scene, but okay. they did pass her in a party scene. Oh, and, so uh, she did get yeah. booked for the same, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, when Kate, our friend, when she wrote to me, and this is Kate Lanier, everyone, if you don't know, Google her, she's quite <laughs> amazing. So it was a real honor to work Wait, with her. Wait, is that set her. it off? Yes, what a and Trinity's uh, our favorite movie from like the nineties. So, oh wow! So, I mean, it was an all-star cast: Jada Pinkett, Vivica Fox, Queen Latifah. There was all like That's big a movie. names. That's a movie. And don't forget, <laughs> she gave Angela Bassett a role. Like, I, I think <laughs> whenever I braid my hair back, I always Cleo, <laughs> sight lines. Queen Latifah. <laughs> That's so funny. That is hilarious. <laughs> But that's Very so funny. amazing. How was she like yeah. on set? Oh, Kate is amazing. Uh, she was directing. I usually, Daniel and I worked with her as a writer. She helped us with one of our projects. Wow. So we were trying to make it Hollywood and that's where she fits right in, right? And yeah. so um, for her to direct me, it was really something. She was just so fun and she had all this good energy. And it was just, it was a little hard for me because I'm so expressive. So when yeah. I'm on set, it's really hard because I, I can't really be myself. Like I'm very emotional and dramatic, basically. Yeah. And though my character was angry, I couldn't handle it the way I would because I would uh -huh. be like, you know, really not very nice. <laughs> but this girl had to be because the camera was so tight. I had to just do it all. It with reads my eyes. every yeah, it reads yes. everything. Everything. So she thought when I would ad lib, uh, just use my own words. She said it would read better. So, she, you know, she let me, I knew the script inside out, upside down, tossy turvy. So but she wanted me to just throw 
which helped the backstory. I knew that, you know, most people don't know when you're just reading the line or just saying the lines, right. my character seems like a bitch. But if you know her backstory, and then you're just like, okay, she has a right to be bitchy. <laughs> so yeah, well, it was nice that I can throw out some of the things that, that I had, knew. Well, you had creative freedom, it sounds like, which does not come very often. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all awesome. Was trying to contain myself. That was hard. Because I wanted to be like, Ugh! and she was like, uh, Josephine, <laughs> she was like, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> the face. You, she was like, you're, you're all over the place. So I had to be like, like tell them all kind of like this when I really uh -huh. want to be like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I love that. And the fact that you, this is not the first time that I've seen you book something and then Trinity is booked for the same project. What? One of the things I admire about you most is your mom. Mm -hmm. Like Thank I you. really, really, really <laughs> admire the fact that you are such a go-getter, but your babies have always Thank been you. like, top priority um for you and we've known each other for years yes. <laughs> you're acting you've got your modeling and then you also have a clothing line yeah so it was what two years ago in 2019 right before the lovely pandemic yeah. okay i'm being sarcastic so yeah it's right amazing. before the pandemic we, we all, dropped we the, all line. Feel the same way about covid yeah thank you <laughs> Yeah, so we dropped our line, and um, yeah, it was uh, I want we wanted you to be in it, but you did come and help us with uh, some promoting and the store we opened in South Philly, my hometown. Yeah, we South were in Street. Philly. We were in yes, the street. that's my hometown, and that was that felt like such an accomplishment and an achievement to get in that store on South Street, where my sister and I, as teenagers, would walk up and down South Street just trying to you know meet people. And here, I was so honored to have a our clothes in the window, and I had friends from grade school and high school come oh, and yes, shop. Yes, I remember. It's just like I, a girl cool. walked. She's like, I went to school with her. I went to yeah, high school with her. It's like, that was okay, so girl. cool. Yeah, and we wanted you to be in our show. We were we debuted in Harlem Fashion Week. It was in this beautiful yes. museum, which happened to be across from where we got married, Central Park. Aww. And my grandma, not my grandma didn't come, but my aunt, who she would come to my first fashion show when I was 16 in Philly. So I have her come and I have my own clothing line. That's and like then a I got to circle. walk at you. Yeah. I was just like, one thing, oh. you came through. That's <laughs> awesome. And my son was there, so that was cool too. I, lo so, I love it. So cool. I yeah. really, really appreciate that about um, our relationship because yeah. I don't know, when I first started modeling, like people always said, you know, you don't want to have friends that you know have the same stats as you or may look like you because you know this whole this this yeah. mixed notion of competition yeah. i don't believe in competition there's only one you i really believe yeah. strongly in that if the client wants you even if your look is similar there's something about you that maybe they want more the it's other person you. whatever as long as it's someone for gets you. <laughs> what's for you is for you or Thank they can look they can book both of you, you know, which, which is always a beautiful blessing. Yeah, which has happened often <laughs> in our case, or sometimes like if either of us like we'll get double books, you know, we're about like the same height, you know what I mean? We look yeah. completely different, but you know, about the same. So, hey, you know, I have a friend who may, you know, you may want to book her. She's gorgeous. So totally. just anyone out there that's in the industry, look, community over competition. Amen. You, know, listen to, you have another um, just community, uh, Acting Modeling 101 on um, Instagram. <laughs> and you guys, yeah, I noticed you guys, share, um, you guys share like uh, castings and just helpful information for people that yeah. are either in the industry looking for work or Thank you. new. Definitely. So that's how, again, it's, it's all about sharing. Thank you. That's so true. I, I agree. And we're trying to um, eventually we're going to get like some space so we can pull everyone together because I really want to give that information. And so does Daniel, who, you know, he's been a successful actor or he's, you know, still in the process. Once the strike is over, we can continue. Yes. But um, we want to get everyone together and just really give as much information as we can so people could start properly because there's a lot of people scamming and we get so many people like emailing and calling like, hey, how'd you do that? My kid wants to do, my cousin, my aunt, you know? So I'm always like copy and pasting because I'm giving everyone, oh, try this agent, try this booker, 
you know, I try to give them direct information so you could see for yourself. I try to let them know, oh, maybe you got to pay a little something for the breakdown. But you know how it is. Everyone has to pay for the breakdown. We yeah. pay for our own breakdown, right, on Casting Network or yeah. whatever. So as long as they're not asking for 200 or like some exuberant amount, well, it should now, be small. Now this, the, the gag is that there are models paying to be in fashion shows. Ooh, and I've seen a rough. few, yeah, I've seen a few of these websites where they charge you for each designer. It's, it's horrible. Oh, how's so this even allowed? Yeah, well, it's, I mean, they're making money off of it. So with that being Ooh. said, I'm glad that you guys are out there, yeah. you know, putting we out the positive, help. you know, the positive stuff, the useful stuff, the stuff that's actually going to help people, um, yeah. you know, blossom in their careers just because there's a lot of uh bad information out there a lot um, yeah unfortunately and the beauty, if you're in a near a big city like philly or new york obviously one of the fashion capitals there's so much work almost every day that you don't even have to be with an agent i know a lot of people that are not and they're constantly <laughs> working so some of my friends are like i don't need an agent it's like yes you do because as you know there's places that we can't really get without like an agent can get you in the yeah, room. Yeah, you need that so middle as much person. As we liked, yeah, like, you know, I managed my daughter. So she was fortunate to instantly get with my agents. I had like five at the time and they all took her on. So oh, now wow. she's at the perfect Go time because she's 18. Yeah, and but now she's 18 so she can totally fly. Like we're trying to get her even bigger. So I got with, um, we got her mother agent and they're trying to shop her and groom her like so that she fits the mold for international and bigger agents uh, i do know a lot of uh, information for so many years right how do you not yeah. gain all this information so if i could help anyone trust me i'm here for it inbox me i will definitely send you all the information i have and that's all i do i'm, I'm proud of myself this year i've done some good things i'm like maybe i should be a mother agent because i got you really? a friend of mine signed a male model signed i got another friend of mine in a vogue she oh, wow. Trinity was going out of town and Trinity was modeling for this designer and she's like, oh, I need a model to be on a hoverboard. And she's a graduate from FIT. And okay. I was like, I know someone because she wanted someone six feet tall and really thin because the outfit is like this construct. It's made 3D from the, the computer. It's, it's amazing. Like, a, oh, wow. thank you, Julie. <laughs> and so they made this outfit and she had to be on a hoverboard. And uh, yeah, she ended up in Vogue. It was so cool. Amazing. I was like so honored. Like, oh my God, I had something to do with that. <laughs> yes. I mean, again, did. it was her because of, you know, her look. She carried it. Right. But I was just happy I referred but her. You were Between, I made it, I did the connect. So it was a beautiful connect and I'm really proud of that. And yeah, there, I get so many um, castings and stuff. So I always try, always try to give it out to everyone. I have a group of people that I'll tell you, I'm always sending them. <laughs> like, go to, this, go to this. New York Fashion Week was amazing this year. There's so much going yeah. on. So, it's it's yeah. good that you know we can do things again like face to face again after i mean yeah. Agreed. You gotta be yeah. grateful for some of the things that came from the pandemic because like even just us yeah. doing this now you yeah. know like huh. years ago we probably wouldn't have been you know no. we wouldn't have been doing yeah. this so some good you some know good, you always gotta right. squeeze some some, yeah. some juice out of the lemons <laughs> <laughs> yes I so agree. They give you um, lemons, you make lemonade. <laughs> so what uh, exactly? Make lemonade out of lemons. Um, Yummy. What is what would be the best um, place for people to if they did have questions or they wanted to contact you or book uh -huh. you? Where would the best place be? Is it um, just DM My email. you on here or IG? So it's JJT one zero one three at gmail.com so that is the best way to write to me and I, anyone let me know what you got going on and i'll just send you some information but hopefully daniel and i will be able to do our seminar soon and i will get yeah. a photographer coming in and he will do some digitals because a lot of people don't know you don't need to build a whole portfolio this is a waste of money and time because of okay. the fact that the agents You're saying do not for, see you done up for yeah. people when that are just just getting started okay especially for kids too definitely do not waste money on kids because they grow all the time so and agents their features know this change all the time yeah so the agents are like just do snapshots but with adults too don't go there with a whole portfolio i mean trinity had magazine stuff and her agents don't even use it 
And I'm mm. like, but this is a tear sheet. Like when I started, a tear sheet was everything. It was I guess old. nowadays you can kind of get them a little easier. But um, yeah, they're really strict. They just want her like no makeup. That you know, the digitals, the fresh digitals. That's and a lot so of people true. don't know about this. And that's how you submit to agencies. And a lot of people don't know you could submit yourself online. Just you know, yeah. Submit. Yeah, and I a lot of open calls, but the, well, yeah, they still, yeah, they still have open calls. They start a lot of um, websites, uh, modeling agency websites. They'll have it like all of them. They'll well, show you is, an example yeah. of kind of like what they, yep. you know, what they exactly. want. Even the example that they show you, the picture is not all that great. <laughs> you know, um, it's true. It looks and that's like what they want. maybe it was shot from an old uh, uh, cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, which it, it's good because it takes some of the pressure off of yes. us mentally in our wallets. Exactly. Um, financially, you know, that you can, you know, just go ahead, take some snack snapshots. But um, I guess mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, having like a little bit of coaching would help, which is why your seminar would actually be great to attend. Yeah. So whenever, you know, you guys yeah. get this together, I think that's going to be pretty amazing. Um, I, I think be, so. It's yeah. going to be in person. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to have a panelist with like models that are working with uh, designers who are creating lines for the next fashion week. I'm going to have, I have uh, access to these people and uh, they will okay. be there. Photographers, professional models, professional designers. They will all be there talking to you guys, maybe recruiting some of you. It's going to be a good oh, summer. Right. So, Ooh, and then at the like, end, when is it, when is it, we'll when is have, it? I know we're going to, we're working on it. We're working to set it up. But at the end of it, you're going to be set up ready to submit to the top agencies. Yeah. And That's if I can awesome. get my stuff together, I could start being a mother agent like I should be. You <laughs> collect those coins. Yeah, I, I feel like because uh, they do what, what they expect you to do to just submit the headshot. There, there's so many different avenues, of, you know, your career and things that you have going on between modeling, acting, and then you have a clothing line. And well, did I tell you I wrote a script this year? You did tell me, but not everyone knows. <laughs> that, was my, that was my first time. Oh so I'm God. really proud when, of it. But I where did you grab the anymore. time? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> yeah, well, this strike make things happen. But no, I was really, really fortunate that a friend of mine who's a professor uh, yes. historically about black college. Yes. Um, I was fortunate that he brought the idea to me, um, actually me and Daniel last year to produce. And it's um Shakespeare. Wow. And ah! so I was really intrigued, first of all, because the character was a, the lead was black. So I'm like, ooh, for me. Because, you know, I'm always <laughs> looking for, you know, yes. a character I can portray. Right. And so um, this character was just so amazing. I was so happy to have the opportunity because Daniel was really busy at the time. And so I was like, I'll do it with you. He was like, okay, I can write it with you. Because at first he was just giving it to us to, he was like, I'll give you the information because he had his students, you know, researching and all that stuff. So he had all the information. So then he was like, you know what? I can write it with you. So every day we would go on Zoom or we would go on, um, I brought this draft, this uh, first draft, I think it's called. It's a print, like a writing uh, app or whatever. We had to pay a lot of money for it. <laughs> but it was cool because we could share the screens and we could both write um, together. Okay. And so it was so fun that we got to do it every day. I looked forward to coming home to like oh, get work on this. It was so, so fun. It's like your baby, another script. baby. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done anything with it that we both kind of pushed it aside. I'm not sure why we both got busy and, and he's writing now he's like taking off he's doing all sorts of writings but he knows this one's a gym and it's going to cost a lot to produce so that's why we're kind of just like let's just give it some time because it takes place in england so ah. we got to do a whole production over there so it's okay. and then costumes it's a period piece so oh, it's I, love be period pieces. I know i know I and i just learned british pieces. accent if if i get to play the lead because it's such a good script that they may want to give it to a star, whatever an established. Well, then, star. then they would have to give it to you. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> From Let's start, to we'll start here. practicing <laughs> your, your British accent. <laughs> I gotta work on it, but I was saying like they can get other people to be leads, you know, like stars. Well, like the, if you, if you want them. it, get ready for it. Very true. You're right. I got to hire a dialect coach. That's what I got to do. Yeah. And then I'll feel more like ready. Talking about the strike a lot. Yeah. 
you know, um, tonight here and there, but I love that you, you did something with your time, you know, something creative, you know, yeah. you Thank decided you. that, you know, this is something positive that I can work on while things are a little bit, it's not even just that things are slow. They're just so uncertain, you know, yeah. it's because we all have like ups and downs, you know, in our careers, but yeah. the strike is like, what's going to you know like what's gonna happen Very so true. i think it's great that you both were able to um work on something you know together yeah. during you know during this time. creative juices you know when you feel like it's at a standstill because production you know kind of stopped came yes. to like a screeching halt <laughs> so it felt so good to still be able to be creative and it even inspired me. I even started modeling again, something I actually, I always yeah. say for my retirement, right? I say yes. every time I'm Josephine, hanging off the okay, I'm spilling it. Josephine has retired <laughs> like probably three times. I do, and, I do, but And yeah. I always, when you say it, I watch the words like disappear it's in the so air. Funny. Because I'm not, I'm not going for it at all. Not with that, yeah. not with that, that, that face card. Oh, well, thank <laughs> you. It's, it's, um, it's just innate at this point so i'm so grateful when i get opportunities to do it and i was able to do one show during fashion week it was so fun oh my god congratulations <laughs> so, yeah thank you it was a good time and i i literally did it just because it was paying that sounds bad but it's true so, no no it doesn't <laughs> i need it i need the money <laughs> but i was happy to be back on the runway and you know the chaoticness in the backstage i love and, like, it the photos right it was, i love it, was it. Kind it's of like fun. Air. I kind of it. <laughs> Yeah, right. If I'm ever at a so. show and it's not crazy, I'm worried. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> Nine worried. or ten times there's going to be some kind of something going on. I'm like, why are but things so good. organized? Something's not right. Yeah, that usually doesn't happen. <laughs> but one time I experienced that. One time. Um, mm -hmm. My first time doing Seventh on Six. This is eons ago when it was at Bryant Park. So, you know, oh, that was okay. a very long time ago when it was the original yes. seven on six, Those were maybe the not days. the original, but Those I got to the do days. the one show and I'll never forget the difference. Cause when I showed up at Bryant park, they just, it's just, everything was so different. They had everything so organized. And I was just like, this is weird. You know, <laughs> like, it was very neat. My name was there. My outfit was there. They hear I make it like they, they had me ready to walk and I'll never forget. It was on channel one which probably doesn't exist anymore, does it? <laughs> I don't think so. Right. Everything's but streamed was, now yeah. too, but. Yeah, <laughs> and it's from Maurice Malone, who I think he still designs, but yeah. I think so. Like, he was, like back then, he had a whole denim line, so they wanted curves, you would have been perfect for that. <laughs> yeah, I got and chunky was, to That try. was so long ago though. <laughs> it was like 19, a long time ago, let's just say. Wow, you're, <laughs> so that was you're the first like, time it was your organized. resume is so like extensive. Oh. I, I, oh. I love it. Thank I admire you. that. And speaking Thank of you. fashion shows, you're doing a uh, couture fashion yeah. week. Surprise, surprise, I am. Yes. <laughs> November yes. 25th. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, couture fashion week, um, it's a pretty big deal. I have so many different designers from like all yeah. over the world. Yeah. And like these designs, a lot of stuff is like hand beaded. Beautiful. And it's yeah. like just elegance. At its yeah. finest, like just amazing gowns, and they go They're all out good. with yeah. the hair and the makeup. Sure, it's I a good everything movie. just come to life on sure. you know on stage. I don't know why mm -hmm. I just remembered you did like this chocolate show. Or oh something. my god, good memory! Yes, I did do just, it like five years in a row, maybe. You look like so a goddess. I love yeah. that. Oh, but it was you know, a, this big headdress. It was yeah. The it last was huge. Was, was it heavy? Yeah, it was so big I couldn't turn. Not. It was a little heavy because it was made of chocolate up here on the crown was real chocolate. So that I, was heavy. I would have been. And they did spray their feathers. <laughs> they sprayed it with white chocolate. Yeah. Oh wow. It was, it was a lot. It was really really cool. And a lot of times at the end of the show, it's melting. It starts any part that's touching your skin starts to melt. So they try to have as little as possible. On That's your a skin. messy situation. Yeah, it could be messy. There was so much chocolate on the runway. I have a photo of Trinity and Liddell, Naya's son. They're on the runway, yes. like picking up the chocolate. Oh Hopefully, they God. didn't eat it. But <laughs> they were picking it all up. But those were good years. That was so fun because they took a, a Broadway costume designer yeah. and a, pastry, a top pastry chef, and they would collaborate and make these phenomenal creations. 
And I was always fortunate to work with really, really amazing people. As a matter of fact, Greg Barnes, that's his name. He, he just won uh, a Tony for the oh, costume yes. designing for, was it? I'm trying to think of which show it was. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, well, Broadway show. I posted it, but I can't think of it now. But Greg has won a lot of mm -hmm. Tonys. So what an honor to work with a Tony yeah, winner. Yeah, you've worked, you know? you worked with some heavy hitters. <laughs> There's been a few. There's been a few. I love it. Yeah, um, but do you have any idea when with some the, big people, you know? the pilot um, may be coming out or not yet? Oh, I don't know. Um, her agent is going to first put it in all the film festivals. So okay. as soon as I find out which ones, trust me, I'll let you know. And hopefully yes. I can get my little clip so I can add to my reel, because you know that's why we do it. Yes. <laughs> to build the reel, right? So I'm yes. really excited to see my clip. Oh so. my God, that's so, that is so exciting. <laughs> Josephine, yeah. I had a blast tonight. Wow. Um, I don't know if you I want to interview you next. Yes, Josie's yeah. going to interview me. Now I know her as Josie. Y'all have to call her Josephine. I would do it after. It's okay. But Don't leave just yet. Josephine also got her handsome hubby, Daniel Danielson, to hop in on our little chat. He's also a heavy hitter in the industry. What's up? Hey, Daniel. Hey, what's up? What's going on? You guys on? hear the voice? <laughs> that, that voice gets us lots of money. That, that's, the, that's the money maker right there. Right. What's, what's up? What's going on? What is, what's she was the... telling him about acting modeling 101, and oh, I was telling him about Steven Soderbergh, what you've just recently done. Yeah, so I booked um, uh, Full Circle. It's a show on Max, guy in a wheelchair. When I did the audition, they, they asked for uh, Ghanaian. Uh, 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 Guyana, an uh, accent from Guyana. Yeah. So I did the accent and they were like, no, just stick with the <laughs> English. So I did the English. I got to do the stunt in the wheelchair and that was cool. And he practiced, then, he rehearsed for like a week. I practiced a long time. I took the wheelchair outside. His up friend loaned him a wheelchair to practice. Where did you get a wheelchair do. from? I've heard of this. He I always do to that. know all sorts of people. Yeah, I, I always do that. As soon as I get a role, if it has, I always, I stop everything I do and I'm you like, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. phenomenal. So that way I'm not, yeah, that's where I'm not trying to do it on set, you know, because you can see it. If I practice it over and over and over again, it comes natural by the time the cameras are rolling mm -hmm. so anyway we shot it it was awesome we shot it out in like Brockaway, way out in queens and uh, it's a there's a little neighborhood out there it's a horror movie right no oh that's the next one. Oh, so that's the oh, next one about, okay you're talking about full circle the next one is the horror movie Sorry. the reason i'm talking about full circle is because when we went to the screening at tribeca, tribeca we had, you know, we go to screenings, and so it was like she was getting way overdressed, and I was like, "Chill out, you know." But this whatever. one you were supposed to. Then when we get to the screening, I'm like, "Whoa!" Like the red carpet, like cameras everywhere. Who just signing. played? Uh, what's her name? The um, the lead. The one from Homeland. Yeah, what's her name? Claire Danes. Claire oh Danes. wow! Zazi Beats, Jarell Jerome. Yeah, we had all the good ones. A lot of, a lot wow. of. Wow. You know Jerome Jerome from a uh, look at it. What is it called? Now you see us. Yeah, when With they Avery, see us. When yeah. they see us, Avery. Ah, okay, okay. Jerome okay. oh, oh, got an award. Didn't he win? An he award? won the Emmy for the Central Park Five. Yeah, when mm -hmm. they see us. So when anyway, at the screening, I'm like, you know, I, I had my three piece suit on, but I wanted to say what's up to Soderbergh. Um, I hadn't really realized how significant he is as a filmmaker um i started watching this stuff but i kind of realized later when people saw me in the part and then they were like oh my god you worked with uh, this guy and i just was like yeah you know because he just acts like how we're acting now he's just a regular i'll be like uh that's shakira yeah yeah you know, whatever, you know? so so when as i'm realizing i'm like oh i should go over there and say you know thank you so i go to him and i'm like hey man thanks a lot and he's like daniel He's like, man, you did an amazing job, man. He's like, I gotta go, but man, we'll talk. So I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. Like two days later, I get an email from Beverly Hills where they're like, listen, they want you, they're giving you a straight offer in the new movie that we, they want you to play this painter in the in the new movie. Wow. So yeah, so that was the, right. Yeah, first time getting a straight offer from straight somebody. Straight offer, that's what it's called, right? 
straight off. Yeah. Because I said direct booking, but that's model terms. Same thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's called a straight but, offer. Look, as long <laughs> as long as the cameras are rolling and the check clears, well, congrats. <laughs> congratulations. Like for the the I don't know. We gonna call it a direct booking because that's all I know to call it. <laughs> that is like phenomenal. So yeah. I just want to take you. a second. Thank you. <laughs> like yeah. congratulations, yeah. Daniel. Like you are such like a go getter. Mm -hmm. And like I was yeah. just telling Josephine, like Thank I you. love you guys work so well together, but you yeah. also have your individual careers. Like you guys are like you know, two parallel lines, you know what I mean? Oh, and it's, it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful to watch. And I'm like, so happy, you know, that you guys mm -hmm. have all these, you know, different things going on together, you know, and as visually, individuals. Yeah. that's amazing. Um, and I, say, I know them. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I was at their wedding. <laughs> well, yeah. again, like, congratulations on the role. I can't wait to see it. Um, I know you've done Law and Order. You had a recurring role in Law and Order. Um, yeah. And Josephine, she said you guys with Active Model 101, you guys um, it will eventually have like an event that you guys are gonna um, yeah, put together. Yeah, well, it's more so more, more so like a workshop. Or it'll okay. probably be like a four week. Probably a seminar, but same thing. Same thing, like a group of seminars as a workshop. So four, four weeks of uh, maybe two and a half hours where we're we talk about the business of acting and modeling. So we're not teaching actors and we're not teaching modelers okay. models. We, we want to people to understand what the process is in exactly. the business because it's not a complicated process, but it's not really taught. So a lot of us from, especially from our community, don't really know what I the agree. process is. And we're yeah. just trying to give out some of the jewels that, you know, helped us to move closer faster because it shouldn't have to take so long for some people you know mm -hmm. that's beautiful yeah i was sharing there's a lot of false information out there so right. it's you know it's mm -hmm. great i call it the harriet tubman um you know <laughs> when you, when you, you know when you've reached a level and you can turn around you know and, you know and kind of like reach back and kind of like say come on mm -hmm. let me show you the way you know I and like it's like I did the legwork so, you know, I can even show you a short, you know, not necessarily a shortcut, mm -hmm. but this route will be a little bit smoother right. you know, yeah. for you. So you don't have to so, get lost. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's it's beautiful because a lot of times mm -hmm. people don't turn back. They just, mm -hmm. you know, I make it, I'm going to keep on making it. It wasn't easy for me, so it shouldn't be easy for nobody else, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I think it's yeah, beautiful. We, we need the blessings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We we and need the blessings. So yeah, I was about to say can... you guys will be blessed tenfold for it because yeah. the industry needs it. Um, I follow a lot of these like model model pages because you know models are trying to work on like a union and things now. Mm. And, you know they kind of feel like since yeah, since SAG is you know on strike, it's like okay, well maybe we can join in and some of the stories, you know, especially with like the human trafficking and. Mm. Um, things it's just it's devastating and it's not just you know girls from overseas it's girls and guys right here you know, yeah. that have Very these good. phones but they don't know what to believe you know mm -hmm. like part of what you're saying is how we sort of got our ideas because one person came to me and said that a guy came to me he's a counselor and he said one of his clients came to him and he, he asked me he said is it true that you have to pay six thousand dollars to be on law and order and i was like no you he was, they should be paying you yeah, yeah. He, he, then he tells me that this client that he had paid some group mm. six thousand dollars that they promised her and he showed me her social media where she says don't worry guys i've paid the money and now i'm gonna get there or whatever something like that Is she like background? no she wasn't anything she didn't well, even yeah, know I how to see that's not even that's not even legal for bg that's not legal Mm -hmm. No. So what it is, what we see is that people are desperate to be in the industry. And, and they it, know this. They know it, you're vulnerable. And they, they, take your, they play on your emotions, but it's like you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. And there's no outlet. There's no place to go. No, only a small percentage of people can afford to go to NYU. You know, and then other than that, where do you learn the how to get an agent? When do you join the union? 
Mm-hmm. How to get a manager. Yeah. What you know what I mean? Stuff we're like that. We're trying to help with that. We're trying to teach people. No, I think that'll be um amazing for you know, a lot of people, not just people that are new, but people that are in it that just you know, sometimes you just feel you're like right. you're, hitting, you're hitting this wall, you're hitting this wall mm-hmm. and you know, things aren't going anywhere or you've got like this you kind of feel like you flatlined a little bit or you're ready to you know make a you know a vertical move instead of like a horizontal move yeah so i think that'll be you know a phenomenal you know um week a set of weeks for you guys you know put together and have just a bunch of people like sometimes too like just having like-minded people together it's like that Mm -hmm that and all that energy in the same space well thank you so much for hopping on daniel i i know it's like on the spot <laughs> that's all right it's all but good i'm proud you, of you guys you. i'm proud of what you're doing they had to hear the, they had to hear the money maker though <laughs> <laughs> and like it's all good. and see like see your face because like i like you guys are just on this path it's beautiful <laughs> i'm happy for you guys Thank you. Uh, congratulations again um Thank and di- direct bookings are like music to my ears so I awesome. <laughs> love it love it all right see you guys later <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Bye. stunning talented charismatic gorgeous inside and out Josephine Webb Danielson. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Ciao for now.